The sinking of the RMS Lusitania on May 7, 1915, stands as a poignant reminder of the brutality of warfare and its impact on civilian lives. Departing from New York bound for Liverpool, the luxury liner carried over 1,700 passengers and crew, including women, children, and prominent figures. However, lurking beneath the surface of the calm Atlantic waters was an impending tragedy, emblematic of the ruthless tactics of World War I. As Lusitania approached the coast of Ireland, it fell victim to a torpedo fired by a German U-boat, U-20, under the command of Captain Lieutenant Walter Schwieger. The explosion ripped through the vessel, causing chaos and panic among the passengers. Within minutes, the majestic ship began its descent into the depths, leaving behind a scene of devastation and despair. The sinking of the Lusitania was not merely an isolated incident, but a deliberate act of aggression in the larger context of unrestricted submarine warfare. Germany, seeking to gain an advantage over its adversaries, resorted to targeting civilian vessels with the aim of disrupting supply lines and instilling fear among the Allied powers. The attack on Lusitania, despite its civilian nature, underscored the ruthlessness of war and the disregard for innocent lives. The aftermath of the sinking reverberated across the globe, sparking outrage and condemnation. The loss of nearly 1-200 lives, including 128 Americans, stirred public sentiment and fueled calls for retaliation. The sinking played a pivotal role in shaping public opinion in the United States, eventually leading to its entry into World War I. The sinking of Lusitania remains a haunting chapter in history, a grim testament to the human cost of conflict. It serves as a stark reminder of the moral complexities and devastating consequences of war, leaving an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of nations. In its wake, the tragedy of May 7, 1915, serves as a solemn reminder of the imperative to strive for peace and to honor the memory of those who perished aboard the ill-fated vessel.